Hi, my name is Hassan Abdel Fattah, and my topic for today is a generation of entrepreneurs. Imagine large-scale innovation. Imagine mass innovation. Imagine people coming up with ideas every day and being able to transform those ideas into successful products and, and, um, and services. I think the largest uh, single group that successfully identified with these achievements are entrepreneurs. Um, Joseph Schumpeter was an Austrian-American economist and um, in 1919 he came up with a definition for entrepreneur that I appreciate the most. He says that an entrepreneur is a person who is able to and willing to come up with new ideas and inventions and transform them into successful innovations. Now there are two things here. There is you know, coming up with the idea and then being able to take it to the next level. Um, let's look at some of today's you know, brightest entrepreneurs. We have Steve Wozniak with Apple. Uh, we have Elon Musk, one of my favorite guys. This guy has three companies, founded three companies, Tesla Motors, SpaceX, and PayPal. And then we have Sam Walton with Walmart, literally revolutionizing supply chain management and setting an example for everybody else to follow. All these people have very different personalities, but as a group, they're also very different from the average individual. Um, I think we can break down their characteristics into a couple categories. We, we have the visionary, uh, a person who is able to be very creative and imaginative uh, in the thought process. And they're always driven by a desire to change the world. And they attract brilliant followers along the way. We have the adventurer, a person who is willing to go where no one has gone before, um, full of bravery, energy, and tenacity, and takes the world by charge, by storm. And then we have the opportunist, a person who sees opportunity in current methodologies, you know, looks at a, a, like a given methodology and penetrates uh, loopholes and, and comes up with uh, fantastic solutions to problems that we currently have. And then the allocator, a person who is very good at channeling resources, the right resources to an idea to, uh, to come up with something amazing that is, you know, complete from, from all the aspects and optimized essentially. And the question is, can we take some of these attributes and characteristics that make these people who they are and really um, expose our middle school and high school students to that thought process? Maybe we can you know, come up with um, a creative thinking course that emphasizes uh, the concept of a visionary, long-term vision, uh, people looking at segments in, in markets that haven't been uh, tapped in yet. Uh, people who optimize solutions. I mean, this could tackle some of the most important issues that I think we have in our current educational systems, which is uh, a standardization of experiences. Every student experiences a standard experience, or, or there's only one way to do something. There is one concept and one outcome. We need to change that. We need to foster the creative thinking. I think then people can, you know, use the ethical and social uh, foundations that we have in society from a very early stage in their lives uh, come up with solutions that better humanity, essentially. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial ideas have failed. It's a fact. But those that have succeeded have changed the world. Thank you.